In this video, we're going to get rid of that Z fighting between our inner terrain and our meshes once and for all. Well, mostly. We'll, we'll see here in a second. Okay, back into Unity. So we just created our grasses, foliage, and foliage terrain, and we still have our inner. And remember, our inner is the only one that we can see. Foliage and grasses are hidden. Um, so what we want to do at this point, we want to get rid of this Z fighting. Um, and so we have a script for that. Um, but before we do that, and this, please, please, please don't ever forget to do this because you'll be starting over, um, is we want to back up our inner terrain height map so that we can pull it back in and raise this terrain back up. So if we need to make changes later on, we can do it. Because if we lower it, we can't make changes to a lower terrain because it's going to be all goofy. Things are going to be messed up. They're going to be too low. Um, so we want to make a backup of this and then pull that backup back in if we ever need it. There are really two ways to do a backup. I'm going to show you the new way to do it, but I'm also going to show you the old way. Um, just in case you, you there's there's some advantages to using it the old way, they're more advanced. Um, but just let me show you. So let's do it the new way first. So I'm going to have my inner highlighted and I'm going to go up here to uh, train backup just like we did earlier in the course before we did any digging. Remember, we were creating all these train backups. So we're going to do create train backup and we're making a backup of our inner and I call this um, pre or let's actually do it do call it unlowered okay this is one that we want to make sure that it's clearly shown what it is so I'm going to call it unlowered and then I'm going to create that backup and at that point uh, this is going to run I don't think this should take so long now so I'm not going to pause the video at this point we'll just let this finish out All right, I lied. I did pause the video. It finished. Um, we can close the screen. And just for a sanity shake, <laughs> sanity's sake, let's go in here. And you can see, I can see that unlowered terrain up here. And um, I could always restore this one if I wanted to. But you can see, there it is. That makes me feel good. Another way that we could back this up is I could go down here to enter. And if I come over here to the, the cog wheel and the inspector panel, and I scroll down to the bottom, I can export this raw height map. And this is going to give us just a, 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 a raw uh, height map file. Keep all these, the defaults, and I hit export. And then I can put this back in like uh, another folder. A lot of people put in their terrain backup. Let me just show you where this, I'll put this in my OPCD projects. I've got my Rock Creek. I've got my Rock Creek none to done, which is what I'm doing with you guys. Assets, terrain backup, and let's just call this terrain unlowered. And it's going to be a, a raw file. And I'm just going to save it in there. And it'll actually show up here in my terrain backup folder uh, when this updates. Okay. Um, and I should be able to refresh this if I want to. There it is. OK. And so if I ever wanted to restore this unload, I, another alternative, instead of doing the restore up here, I could go to enter, scroll down here and just do import raw and then just import that lowered again. So that's another way you could do it. I like using the uh, the, the built in tool here. That's that's pretty slick. Now. We have our terrain, our, our main terrain backed up. Now we're going to lower it. So remember, we're just going to, it's going to lower under the meshes, but any place there's not a mesh on top, um, we're not going to lower it. And that's all taken care of by a script. Uh, lower terrain under GSP, lower terrain under meshes. And a new window is going to pop up. And we're going to take our inner terrain and put it up here. And lower mount. It's going to lower it one meter, the indentation meter. So this is around the outside where the meshes end, okay, and where it's and then the, where it's going to meet the unlowered inner terrain on just the outside. That's the indentation. It's fine to leave it at 0.6. I've never had to ch to change that, okay. There are some things down here that you can say um, lower bunkers only, fairways. I've never used these. Um, I just leave, leave them alone. So let's come back here. Let's do 
lower all splines and you'll see you know we want to make sure that we have a backup and you'll see down at the bottom when this is fun we'll get a message down here at the bottom saying it's complete so we're going to do lower all splines and i'm going to pause and we're back um so you can see down here at the bottom i got this message that terrain was lowered i can now close my window here and things look pretty nice right i have my meshes there's no z fighting if i come down here to the edge i want to show you guys what's going on i'm right clicking and using my wasd you can see there's a little bit of um and let me back up and let me guys just show you a quick so when i get this clipping here you can see how this clipping is happening you just take a human height guy i might have showed you this in another video Take a human height guy and just drop it here. And then with your mouse over him, hit F. And now I'm gonna focus on him. I can delete it again. And now I don't get that clipping. So now you can see that my terrain, my meshes are here. My inner terrain is lowered. It's about a meter underneath this. But when it reaches this point, it comes up and meet, meets my mesh again. So this looks you know, they're like they're even here. But let me show you what this looks like underneath. Now you can see that, right? You can see that my terrain is lowered here and then comes up to meet my mesh. So now we have a lowered terrain. We also have hidden foliage and grass terrains, but let me show you something else here just so you understand the principles and concepts of what is happening. So let me go to my inner and actually let me turn off my meshes you're going to see this much easier so you can see my inner now my lower is lowered under my meshes and here it comes up however let's let's turn off draw on my inner let's turn on draw on my foliage and that one is flat so now when i plant trees here it's going to be even with my meshes just turn off draw for that and go to my grasses and turn on draw for my grasses Grasses look exactly the same, so I can plant on here and it'll be even with my meshes. All right, so final one final thing, let's turn my inner back on up here. Oh, what'd I do? Oh, I left another one on, so I must have left, let's see. Yep, I left my grasses draw on. Now you can see, so this helps you with troubleshooting. So if I turn grass on and off, I can see the difference between those two. OK, so just keep that in mind as you're going through. You can always turn these other layers on to get an idea of what's happening. So I'm going to leave those off for now and then off to the next section for you guys.